level 62 upgrade. Today I'm going to be installing ProLine's rear assorted spring set for the power strokes. Guys, I've been wanting to get this for a while now, ever since I got the power strokes from Coyote0976. Thank you again, by the way. But let me show you exactly what I mean. So as you guys can see, the springs that are included for the power strokes for the front are at the perfect tension. I have no complaints about them at all. However, the springs that are included for the rear, they do not work for the Rustler at all. The adjustable ring is nearly all the way down and the black spring on top is completely compressed. There is no progression in these shocks at all. So I need to go ahead and get these springs switched out. And it's gonna be a very simple installation. All I have to do is undo the screw that's on the bottom of the shock. Once you remove that screw, you can just go ahead and pull the shock up. And now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna screw up this adjustable ring all the way back up to the top. All right, now that that's taken care of, I'm just gonna go ahead and compress the spring Pull off the bottom spring brace, slide that off to the side, and now I just gotta replace the springs, guys. So in this kit, they include four sets of springs. We have blue, green, yellow, and red. Blue is the softest and red is the stiffest. Now when you get the rear power strokes, they include a green black spring and a yellow silver spring, which in my opinion doesn't really make sense. I would think that both of them should be yellow or both of them should be green. But anyways, these are just too soft for the rustler, so I'm gonna go ahead and stiffen them up and go to red. So to replace the springs, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them off the center ring, and then I'm just gonna put on the new ones. We got the silver one goes onto the smaller part of the center ring, and then the black one goes onto the thicker part of the center ring. Now I'm just gonna slide the springs on, I'm gonna compress them, and then I'm gonna put on the bottom shock spring brace. And now all I have to do is reattach it to the A-arm using that single screw. So here we have the red springs on the Rustler. Now those are the stock ones, those are the red ones. And you can see that I don't even have to compress the springs all the way, and they're already in a better position than those. Of course, I'm gonna have to go ahead and bring up the tension a little bit, but guys, believe me, these are obviously a lot more meant for the Rustler than the ones that are included with the power strokes. So there you have it guys. I went ahead and replaced both of the springs for both of the rear shocks and I have to say I'm much happier with this setup compared to the ones that came stock with the power strokes. Now to balance it out a little bit more, I replaced the black springs in the front with the soft blue ones and it just balanced the ride height for this RC overall. Guys, I am done with this upgrade. That was Demons, level 62 upgrade.